Hey everyone, it's me Nick Gaming 2174 back with Terraria Expert Mode again. Today, we're going to be doing something that seems a bit unexpected. We're doing the Goblin Army. Personally, didn't expect this. As that was not the plan I have for today. But we'll get into the plan. After. If I do this, oh god, the Goblin Army is very... Oh, the guy's going to die. Yep, he's gone. Why can I not just do what I want to do? Oh boy. Well, I hate it. okay, well, I might as well explain something I've, I've been playing off camera lately. If, oh wait, actually, hold on. Oh. Throw some of these down. Kind of like a damage over time effect. Okay, come on. Oh, also, guys, I made a new weapon. I made a sapphire staff. So I made several things since the first video. Okay, I'm gonna try using the maze a bit. Throw some of these down. Okay, at least we're kind of getting far into this. Yeah, these spiky balls are very powerful. Oh my god, I have very low health. Oh, I don't have spiky balls. Oh, are these some here? Yes. Spiky balls are actually pretty powerful. Even if all their damage is like a very low amount. I'm gonna go up here for a bit. Oh yeah, I built this little like rope here. Because I'm... Because I wanted to find like a floating island. And I found actually quite a few. You can see here on the map I went flying here. And also the best thing is I found... A lucky horseshoe. And, uh, yeah, I've got a good amount of good things since the last video. Oh, there's a heart here. Oh, I also got this just before recording. It's called a tentacle spike. It's actually better than my light spain. God, I hate. 
God, the archers are so annoying. Without dying. Okay, sixty six percent of the way through. I get rid of these archers. God, I hate being knocked back so much. Seventy-seven percent, and then we should be golden. Ninety-one percent done. Finish off with spiky balls. There we go, I did it. Alright, well, I'm, I'm just gonna head over now to where what I want to do. So anyway, today, guys, what we what we are gonna do is fight the Eater of Worlds. So now that I took care of that, I'll see you over at the Corruption. Alright, everybody, welcome back. We are now in the Corruption. So you guys may have noticed, I set up this little platform here. This is for when we're fighting the Eater of Worlds, so... The reason I set this up is, so as some of you may know, the Eater of Worlds is obviously a giant worm. But, something, I realized that the Eater of Worlds cannot burrow through platforms, and so my idea is stand up here, and then be hitting it down there. So, well, let's get to it. So, the two potions I brought are Swiftness and Iron Skin, and then I also brought this, a stake. And... So yeah, as you can see, I set up the area with heart lanterns and campfires. So, let's get to it. Theater world. You can see a major difference already with the Eater of Worlds in expert mode is that it fires that stuff that's called Vile Spit at you. The nice thing is you can actually destroy it but the bad thing is it it does actually do a lot of damage even with a high amount of defense so you really gotta avoid it as much as possible and then so the idea here I'm doing is that you want to use ranged weapons as much as possible. Uh, 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 uh. 
with uh, the the bow is a best weapon to use but you need to have uh, arrows that can go through enemies not just like normal wooden arrows so obviously that's not good enough You can see how much damage it deals, these Jester's arrows. Like that, there. And you see here, even though it's not shown to do a lot of damage, the idea of how it does do a lot of damage is by, like, each time it, it hits a little worm bit, that's like a separate hit. I'm also gonna throw some spiky. Oh wait. Oh, I can't. You can't throw spiky balls down platforms. Oh no. Well, that's something I clearly didn't think through. And then you can see as uh, you're de destroying the Eater of Worlds, you're getting um those thingies. They're called uh, Demonite Ores and Shadow Scales. There, I killed that bit of the eater. I'm gonna take a health potion. Oh god, that was pretty close. You also want to make sure that the that it, a head doesn't hit you, because that can also deal a lot of damage too. How much health does it have? It's still over 4,000. The good thing is with this boss, it only despawns if you leave the corruption. There we go. Got rid of that bit. That eater of worlds I'll oh, shoot all oh, I'm out of jester's arrows oh no oh my mace could work yeah look See there, it's doing some good damage. Yeah, I can see, as I mentioned earlier, it it has to burrow a good way in order to be able to get up here. Got another. Shouldn't have dropped down like that, but but yeah, it's a it's down pretty low amount of health, so we we should be okay. I could just go in with the sword thing. You can see that when you, when it hits you, like, head on, it doesn't deal a lot of damage. It's mainly the vile spit you gotta avoid. There, okay, that guy's gone. Spiky ball. There we go. Well, there we go. We did it. Eater of Worlds is gone. Well, let's just gather up the last few bits of stuff around here that it dropped. Like, I I don't remember if I did fight the Eater of Worlds in my other playthrough, but but yeah, in my opinion, doing it this way. 
with having like a little thing up here kind of makes it really easy. Let me just look around here. Stuff on the chasm. No, there doesn't appear to be anything there. But anyway, I think that might be everything. So we got, so yeah, we got a good amount of stuff here, but let's open that. So yeah, we got, that's a treasure bag. That's something you get exclusively in uh, expert mode and master mode. But yeah, what we get is um some more demonite ore and shadow scales. And then we also got a, um it's called a worm scarf. Now this I want for sure because it it reduces the amount of damage enemies give you. So I think I'll take off the flippers for now because obviously I'm not swimming in water. And then I think I could have time to battle an eye for Bulu. Yeah, I might as well try it. Yeah, the I have Cthulhu, I don't know if it's any harder. Probably could have done this boss first. Well, actually, wait, I have my um my musket. You can see the I have Cthulhu is a lot faster. Wow, this does a lot of damage. Oh, I've lost the iron skin potion. Oh gosh. Oh, I saw a meteorite falling. Yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu does that exclusively in Expert Mode and Master Mode. If you guys are wondering what that sound effect is, that's actually the sound of its dash, just faster sounding. I got rid of all the servants. Yeah, it does that more the more its health goes down. Which is supposed to kind of like give you the idea of you gotta defeat it quickly now. Yep, there we go. And I also said a meteorite landed, so. Yeah, let's. I'll show you guys what you get here. I got some more unholy arrows, which are. which is actually nice. You also get this, a shield of Cthulhu. This does actually damage it. It's equipable, but even though it's a shield, this doesn't, um, this actually doesn't prevent knockback. But anyway, what I'll do now is I'll skip ahead until I find the meteor, so I'll be back. Oh, here it is. All right, well, everybody, I just found the meteor, right? Oh man. Oh crap! I need to. I gotta try to get this without burning.
you off of there. Um, okay, I gotta build something. Maybe this rope can do. These meter heads are pretty tough. Oh, they're dropping money. I Wait, I didn't thought they did that. Oh man, get up here. Oh no. Oh, I've lost all that gold. Oh no. Well, anyway, hold on guys. I'll I'll see you back there. Oh man. All right, everybody, I'm here again. There, I got the money back. Also guys, I built a better pickaxe. See, I have the nightmare pickaxe now. Rather than the um, that other one, the platinum. I forgot about the. I realized I forgot to make some. I wanted to make some stuff with the demon knight, but I forgot to. I also made better armor too. I'll grab up. I don't think I'll grab all the meteor right. I think I'll just get most of it. I got a hundred. If I remember right, it's three, I think, to make a bar. Um. I don't know, maybe this is enough how much I've got. Maybe I could just grab a few little more bits. Hundred and seventy four will do. Okay, we've got fifty eight bars. What well, can make a phase blade? So that does twenty six. Damage. Um, okay, well here. Let me um Yeah, I can tell I've been gathering up loads of coins. What um What other precious like gems have I got? Do I have oh, I've got loads of amethyst. Maybe some sapphire.
I think they all do 26, which, um, I think I'll do the green phase blade. Oh, it's a savage one, too. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's much better. And the fact it's a larger one, too. Well, anyway, guys, I think that'll end things here for today. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. As always, feel free to subscribe. So, bye for now.